Hi guys, Alexi here and I'm back with more weekly gaming news from Mega Cat Studios. Now it's almost the end of the month, but we've got a few retro gaming news stories to wrap things up with a bang. So many things to talk about, yet so little time. If only we had something to take us back to the future. Well, thankfully we can in the form of Doc Brown's trusty old time traveling automobile. Yes, you heard it right. Lego has a special treat for all the Back to the Future fans in the form of a three-in-one set dedicated to the infamous DeLorean. We say three-in-one because there were three movies after all. Three movies, three forms. First, it's the classic car that Marty and Doc used to get back to 1985. Next, you have the flying version from Back to the Future Part 2, complete with fold-down tires for flight mode. And lastly, we have the model from 1955 that takes Marty all the way back to the Wild West. Each version features the gullwing doors, travel dates printed on the dashboard, interchangeable license plates. Of course, you can't go anywhere without the flux capacitor, which lights up. Sweet attention to detail that I wish we had back when I was a kid. Oh well. This set also includes two brand new designs of Marty McFly and Doc Brown minifigures. It even comes with the iconic pink hoverboard featured in part two that you can build yourself. This is definitely a must have for both Lego and Back to the Future fans, and you can get your hands on it. The set will release on April 1st for 199 US dollars. And no, it's not an April Fool's prank. You can check their website yourself, because I know I did. Next up, we have a classic in your face horror game getting in physical version courtesy of the Nintendo Switch. The House of the Dead is very much alive, and it's coming to you this May 26. Now, I wonder if they kept all the so bad it's good voice acting. I mean, we can only hope. Players will be able to get their hands on both a standard and Lemmy Dead edition, with the latter including some stickers, two character stands, and an exclusive box showing off the classic Sega arcade title. Once again, we're taking on the undead as Thomas Rogan and Agent G, shooting our way to end an outbreak and save a group of scientists from an experiment gone wrong. This port is a remake of the 1997 arcade reel shooter, and it's great to see that you can still play solo or shoot things up with a friend. Microids, the publishing studio in charge, promises a classic experience with hordes of the undead monstrosities, fast-paced action, true to the original gameplay, and of course, multiple endings. But please, please give me that hilariously bad dialogue. I mean, it's Resident Evil levels of funny. And now for our last feature, we have a celebration that's been 20 years in the making. I mean, we never thought we'd say this because it sounds so strange out loud, but Halo Combat Evolved is certified retro. Yes, we're celebrating Master Chief and of course, Cortana's 20th anniversary. It's a bittersweet feeling all around because it only means that we're all that old Except me, of course. Anyway, moving on, with more than 6 million copies that have been sold worldwide in its first five years, and a sweet remake five years later, you really can't deny Halo's legacy. In a sea of FPS games, Halo stood out as being one of the first console exclusives that gained a massive following. If you were on YouTube in the early 2010s, then you probably know about Red vs. Blue. Yep, yeah, that's how popular Halo was. But all the fanfare aside, the elements of being a fun game are what matter most. And Halo checked all the boxes. An iconic title that changed the gaming landscape and proved that Microsoft could indeed hang with the console big boys. With a thriving franchise of 16 total games and its own series coming out this month, we can only wait and see what other surprises Master Chief has in store for all of us. Well, there you have it. Some sweet news stories from all around to satisfy your cravings for some retro goodness. You know we got you. Again, this is Alexi, and I'll catch you next week for more weekly gaming news.